Welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, we have an amazing step-by-step -step guide on how to create a V2Ray VMS server account and set it up on the HTTP custom app. If you're interested in hidden tricks and want to optimize your browsing experience, make sure to visit our blog. And if you're new here, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Let's get started. First things first, open your web browser and in the search bar, type UDP Custom and hit Enter. In the search results, find the official UDP Custom website and click on it. This is where we'll be creating our V2Ray Slow DNS server. Once you're on the UDP Custom homepage, you'll see a menu button, typically located in the top corner. Click on it to see a list of options. From the menu, click on V2Ray Slow DNS Server. This option allows you to create a V2Ray server that supports slow DNS. You'll then be directed to the Server Location Selection page. Now, select your preferred server location. After that, you'll be redirected to the Account Creation page. Once you've entered your username and completed the CAPTCHA, click Create Now. Your server details will be generated and displayed within seconds. Take note of the details or copy them for the next steps. Now let's move on to setting up your V2Ray VMS server on the HTTP Custom app. We need to make sure you have the latest version of the HTTP Custom VPN app installed. Head over to the Play Store on your device, search for HTTP Custom, and install it if you haven't already. Once installed, open the app, and you'll be taken to the home page. On the home page, click the checkbox labeled V2Ray. Then, click the plugin icon in the top corner to open a new window. Select V2Ray Settings from the list. In the V2Ray Settings, click the clipboard icon at the top of the page to paste the data you copied earlier from the UDP custom website. Once you've added the data, go back to the home screen and click the Connect button. And there you have it. You've successfully created a V2Ray VMS server and set it up on HTTP Custom for fast speed web browsing. If this tutorial was helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.